All right, guys. I'll give you a little quick rundown of the room I have as a crew member on board the Norwegian Epic. So I just entered from the hallway. There's a door, nothing fancy. We entered through a personal key card that is issued to each one of us upon arrival. Uh, some instructions. Safety and whatnot. When you first enter in, right to your left, there's a little closet. Pretty spacious closet, actually. I'm using the top for extra storage. Have some medicine up there and some other knickknacks. When you first open, it's gonna be hard to see, but let's go turn this light on. There we go. One second here. All right, it's warming up. But yeah, just have a little top cubby right there. Extra hangers. I'm not really using this side at all. Hangers and more space to hang stuff up. Then you have one, two, and three cubbies below. But again, I'm not really using this side of the closet. Everything's on springs, so the doors just don't stay open. After you close them, they'll, they'll automatically close by themselves. Top space. This has some extra towels, my hats, do rags, and cough drops. A little, just all that personal crap. Some of my show clothes that I use for our performances, just dress stuff. Extra hangers. Below. Actually, let me see if I can. Use my phone as a flashlight because I know it's a little dark. So give me a second here. It's not a bad cabin at all. It's tight, but it's not horrible. I'm a bigger guy. I mean, you and me, it's, it's not. There we go. But yeah, clothes, extra hangers. Then I have a, my top of my drum throne. Didn't end up needing it because I have a pretty good rock and sock already on board, but yeah. So we'll close that. Up top, I just have more personal storage. So extra towels and toiletries. Sunscreen, little cleaning supplies back there. Next door, I'm putting all my dirty laundry right there. Right below I have my desk, there's power outlets below the desk, there's a couple of them so I didn't need to use my extension cord because I have plenty of outlets. Alarm clock, my computer, some various little knickknacks of mine, some reading literature, my uh, cabin phone, which I can use to call home through a uh, pay plan I set up. Uh, I had to use a pay plan to use the phone and a pay plan to use the uh, internet but it's reduced prices for crew members which I'm technically uh, I'm a guest performer but I am in contract with Norwegian so I'm not officially a crew member but I have to you know abide by all the crew member rules guest entertainer shouldn't be second city should be fat cats that's the name of the club we're in I'm from the United States there's only about 30 United States employees on board Everyone else is from different countries. Well, huge international ship. I and mean, there's everything represented on here. Brazil, Puerto Rico, uh, the Philippines. So many places around Europe. One second. Oh, my flashlight. Little safety handbook that gets in every cabin. Again, some of my reading literature to keep me occupied since I won't be on the internet a lot because it's so expensive. But Jack Packer, knowing God. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, The Cost of Discipleship, great read. The Word itself, NIV edition. Groove Essentials Essentials. This is the first. 
of, I believe, three volumes now. Is it three or two? I'm not sure. But I have some extra charts for some of the material we cover that I wrote out. Things of that nature. It's nice having your own little spot of the world because you're around people all day long. We're taking tons of classes. Then we perform every night at a 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. So it's good when you can retreat, you can retreat to your own spot. A little TV on the end of the bed has information about our current location on the sea, our longitude and latitude, how fast we're going. I think we're going like 18 knots right now. We have a DVD player below that thing where you can rent out DVDs from downstairs in the crew area. We can, rent, we can go to the library down there. We have a crew cafe as well, internet cafe. Uh, so, yeah, there's my bed, it's small, but it's just right, small little comforter on top, brought my pillow from home, under the bed is where I put my luggage, I have extra drum gear in there, and below there is my other thing of luggage, two chairs, so you can have guests in here if you want, little mini fridge, had a few bottled waters in there earlier. Drank those, a few sodas. Mmm, the ship just broke really heavy on some uh, on some waves. It felt pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't know what in the world's playing on the TV, but it's interesting. All right, over here, another closet. I use this closet quite a bit. Common everyday clothes. Safe where I put valuables. Some shoes, extra pair of shoes. Below, I put some extra dirty laundry and some like shorts and stuff for when we go to port. Extra cleaning supplies, deodorant, body wash, laundry detergent, some medications. Extra drum heads up there just in case I need to switch one out. But uh, also, when I got to the ship, they had a back room full of drum heads that they already had ready for me, so that was awesome. Ah. What's up? That's me. How you guys doing? Now this is cool. A little bathroom. Several hooks for your coats and stuff. Now the bathroom's in like all in one little unit here. So you open the door. More hooks. Small little sink. A little area below where you can put some stuff that won't fit in the medicine cabinet. Medicine cabinets behind that, obviously. Some extra towels, washcloths, you know the drill, toilet paper, toilet, little flush button. When that thing flushes, it's like a jet engine, just what I was crazy. Shower. So we get in, and you do your business. I don't want to get too graphic here, but do what you gotta do. We're ready to take a shower. Take this thing down. You wrap it around. You take a shower. The shower is actually really awesome here. Uh, the water is very hot. And uh, we have reverse osmosis machines on board the Epic. So the water supply is not a problem. So there's no limit on shower time. I don't have to share this bathroom with anybody. It's just my own personal world in here. And it's pretty cool. But yeah, the water is very hot. It's very nice. So overall, Accommodations are pretty sweet. Uh, so, just a little video on my room, and I'll post more videos as I continue on my journey. I'll be here until February 2nd. So, no need to get all everything posted immediately. Uh, this is my third day, second day, full day on board, but kind of my third day. So, yeah, more videos to come, but thanks for watching. Peace.